Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fail reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is a Darjeeling the Lapsang Sushan the Scalding Hot Assam? What is the tea? Bah! Too hot! But yes, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we are delving back into the world of TikTok piercing fails. So thank you to everyone who does tag me in TikTok and sending me all these things to react to over there. You make this job very fun. Quickly though, just before we do start, thank you for all the love on the most recent episode of Gag of the Millennial podcast. We really, really enjoy making that podcast for you guys. So me and Luxaria recently did one. It was a couple, it was my last video where we talked about all the most recent events that have happened in the world from pop culture to Twitter to just insane weird news stories that we could find. So make sure you do go check out the latest podcast episode of Gag of the Millennial. There is a link down in the description and in the pinned comments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. But <laughs> let's not beat around the bush watelier and get on with these TikTok piercing fails. Ooh. Okay, so they got shut down a week after this horrible experience. Well, <gasps> so this person's getting their septum, well... I mean, septum pierce is set. I mean, just very generous to what this person's. Wow, okay. I'm not even finishing my sentence because I'm so shook. Shook to the core. Hey, look how high. That is so high. Okay. You've basically given this person a Nazalag piercing at this point. Oh no, they're crying. Sobby wobby. God. Oh. I'm okay. Are you okay? You sure you're okay, girl? I wish I could hear what they're saying. Okay, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. But what does that? What do I want to hear? What they're saying? I'm gonna be sore for a couple of good weeks. Mm. Oh, cool. I'm still weeks. sore. <laughs> gonna be sore for a I couple of weeks. I just got mine like two, almost two months ago. Damn. I got mine almost two months. Ago. And I still hurt. And it's still hurt. Well, you're doing something wrong then, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Oh, the face of regret. Wait, we just wait, 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 let's go back. Wait, 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 wait. It's so high in the nose that like it's you can't even see one side of it. Like it's so high in the nose that it's like hidden. But also this this look towards the help me. <laughs> you in danger, girl. That was like fully like no. I've made a mistake, girl. I've made a mistake. Oh God. Oops, I made a mistake. I pierced the wrong hole, got lost in the game, because I'm on the game. And, okay, so this person's getting nipple piercing, so... Oh. Should they not be, like, a little bit deeper? Because it looks like they've got quite small nipples. Oh! What? what? Jeez! Oh, sorry, this music. I to stop the music. Stop the music. Stop the music. I do find it weird, though, when they make them do... Like nipple piercings that are sitting up or like... I'm just like, can you lie... It makes more sense to me to lie down. Oh, I guess it's not too small. I... Sure. Again, like I say with these kind of things, I don't understand why Pierce is just like absolutely obsessed with going at the lightning speed. I just don't understand. Like there is a reason why you take your time with things. And like to that, that just seemed like really aggressive and really easy to f*** up the speed that they did that. I'm like, what is the point? Because I hate you. Like, look, they're like, it's fully like pulling on the piercing. Like what? Like, what's the point? Like it's yanking the new piercing you've just done. Like it's fully yanking it. You're going too fast, like slow down. There's literally no reason to go this fast. You're causing more pain than it needs to be. It almost looks like you want to rip the nipple already before it's even started. Like just slow down. There's no need to go that fast. Please you do not happen. tell me what to do. Okay, so, oh God, are we gonna see another stretching? Why are these suddenly becoming a big thing again? Why are we suddenly seeing so many awful stretching videos? God, that's already gone up like three sizes. Jesus, your ear must. How are you being so. How is this person so calm? <gasps> that's like five. Another one? Six. Another one? Are you ju Seven? Are you kidding? That has to be the last one, surely. Another. Not another one? Not another one? Oh my God. Jesus. Your ear must be screaming. Like that looks so I'm at I'm at eight millimeters here. This looks like like a 10 or a 12. It's definitely bigger than mine. It's kind of hard to tell just from this image. That's either a 10 or a 12. I'm an eight. The idea of doing this in one setting sitting gives me like anxiety, let alone up to like 10 to 12 in one go. Like this person literally had nothing. And they went from that all the way up. Wait, hang on, so this, we can, let me just recount, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesus, 
So it went up eight sizes, but once you get past six, it goes up in doubles. So it's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think, I think, so I think they went up to a 10 because it, it goes by doubles. Jesus Christ. So you're going to die. Blow out heaven. Goodbye earlobe. So what is this? So, okay. So ear stretching journey. Oh, they're stunning. Oh, I love all the purple neon. Oh, we love a neon queen girls. So they're using a taper to stretch there. Oh, please tell me you're going to be So they're just try I'm okay, good. They're just doing well. They're not actually gonna like overly stretch it. Just to know that, just keep in mind that tapers are not jewelry. I learned that myself. I used to wear tapers years and years and years ago, but it does edit the shape of your hole. What did you say? Especially when you get to like the higher sizes, like when it's like heavier and the tapers are heavier, the back of it sags a bit more and it can cause your ear to heal in like a tear shape rather than an actual proper piercing shape. However, maybe don't use your spit as lubricant. I don't like the, I, this fit at all. No, I'm not going to make rude, crude jokes, but just please don't use your spit as the lubricant to go through. Like, <laughs> oh, trying to think happy thoughts, not naughty things when I think of spit and lubricant. What's your party mouth? Okay, so what is this? Okay, so this person's got piercing my friend's nose with me. There's music in the background, so that's why I'm not, I can't have the sound in. Okay, so. God, hold oh, that. <laughs> that eyelash is hanging on for dear life, girl. Help me. Oh, why are we still using these horrible cartridges? Oh, the nails. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> is she done? Fuck me. <laughs> oh, God. No, I can't. Sorry, do you like the voice I gave this person? You don't ever do that again. Yeah, like, sorry. Can we, can we, why are we still using these things? Why are we still using them? It's so weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's the slowness of like, I'm going to hold it sort of tight against the skin. From, uh. Oh, no, absolutely not. No. Can we? And then just like touching it straight away. How are we still doing this? How have we not moved past this yet? It feels like looking into the past. It really feels like we're looking into the past, isn't it? When you see things like this, I'm just like, oh my God, what year is this? 2007. Uh. Okay, so it felt, wait, hang on. FaceTiming my mum telling her to get my tongue. Wait, what? Wait, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Minute. Let me start this again because there's probably sound in this. My mom and telling her I'm piercing my own tongue. Oh God! I mean those nails go. Wow! So <laughs> you're, face, you're pretending to your mom that you're doing. Now that we with... get her reaction. Now we get her reaction. Mm. Mom. Mom. I can't. Oh my God, Mom! Is this Mom. Y'all, she is not. I am the worst child ever. Mom. FaceTime. The woman was just trying to speak. Okay. I always find these kind of videos very strange because it's like we, can't, we can't see her reaction. We can barely hear what she's saying. Like we can barely hear her. Like, I'm like what's the point? But it had 1.7 million likes. Like what? I don't understand. People need to up their standards of what's entertaining. Cause like, I don't understand how I just like, what, what was the point? Sure. God said to Noah, die. Okay. So what is Guys, this? This is how oh. you get your ears pierced in India. So you go to the jewelry. This is how you get your ears get pierced in India. Pierced, and you can say silver, gold, copper, whatever you want. And they'll give you this little wire. Then you go to the boys downstairs and then they'll cut that wire in half and then make the two edges pointy and sharp so oh. that they can poke your skin with it. And then one of the guys will just draw on your ear with a marker. Oh, like, no oh, gloves. is this where you want it? And you can like look in the mirror and be like, no, I want it higher, lower, whatever you feel like. It's really up to you. Um, and then okay. they'll just literally grab the pointy end and just poke through. Oh it no, um, they just shove it. it oh much. no, it hurts, sis. It hurts like the tiniest bit. It feels like a little prick. Um, and then they cut off the excess oh, and kind of just twist don't the look ends very clean. into it, like a loop so that it doesn't come out when you're sleeping and stuff. Um, not gonna say anything okay so what is it what oh what what was that what wait what wait what what am i looking at wait what's wrong wait what what am i looking at what what am i looking at <laughs> what am i looking at wait um what the what is what is this what the hell is this what's going on here what what's 
What? I'm really confused. What I'm wait, 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 wait. What the hell was that? Play it from the beginning again. What the? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? What is this? <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, I've just clocked what it. Wait, 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 wait. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Look, so they've got an earlobe stretch. They've got like a big earlobe, right? They've wrapped it round the industrial bar. So they're like, before the industrial bar's gone all the way through, they just, they've looped it in their earlobe and put it in there. So the earlobe's lifted up. But because of these. Bars here, it makes it. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. That gets. Oh, ick, 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 ick vibes. Did. Oh. It's disgusting. Oh, I don't like. Oh, I don't like that. Why? What's all this liquid in the air? Like, I don't like. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh. Doesn't that just look so weird? It, oh, it looks. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no. No, girl. Nightmare fuel. That's so confusing. That's so confusing. Isn't that bizarre? She's bizarre, girls. I mean, I guess that's one creative way to hide an earlobe stretch. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so what is it? Watch me do a piercing I bet you've never seen before. Okay, so this person's getting. She wanted something unique, and I was super stoked to be a part of this piercing with her. Okay, so they're. Swear I have the coolest job. Watch this. So they're getting two belly button piercings? Two belly. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that because of the piercing, but I'm like, you said, oh yeah, I bet you've never seen this before. I mean, is this the most unique thing? No. <laughs> I, I mean, what I'm not I'm not critiquing her or as the piercing itself. That, that that's because it looks like you know this looks like it's been doing really well. So it look, it's, I know that it's fine. But it's more it's more of the fact that it's like <laughs> I, the most unique piercing. I bet you've never seen anything like this before. I mean, it looks great. I love it. I do think it looks cool. But I'm like, is it the most unique thing? You lied to me. Piercing my daughter's ears at home, pain free. No, the uh. queer not. They're literally giving, they're, like, if, uh, 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 oh, no ma'am. Wow, like, they're literally giving a tutorial as well. What a uh. f***ing, sh terrible, like, terrible. Just because you're a parent doesn't suddenly mean that you're a good person. Like, this is awful. Imagine being like, I don't even want to take you to a piercing studio. I'm just going to do it myself. Oh, just no gloves. Just completely hands-free. Just like, wow. The baby flinched at the, flinched the hell out of the way as well. Like, clearly the pain-free pain cream didn't work. Like, electric chair. <laughs> jail, no trial. I find it so funny that if you were to do this with, with an adult, like if you went up to an adult and did this without their consent, you'd be instantly done for assault. But apparently it's fine to do it on your own baby. You, we've already discussed many times over the years that my my uh, opinion on piercing babies, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. There's literally no reason for a baby to have a piercing. This just goes even further where it's like, she hasn't just, oh, I'm gonna go to a piercing studio or even go to Claire's and get my baby's ears pierced. I'm just gonna lie her down on this bed and like pierce it myself because I can do it. Disgusting. That's a level of like derangement and like a child abuse to a stage where it's like, like, I'm sorry, it's just child abuse at this point. Like you, not only are you not a piercer, like you're just like, I, you're giving a tutorial? You're giving a tutorial? Being a parent doesn't mean you're a good person. Is that tea? Wait, so what is this? A lobotomy on you to treat your mental illness. Wait, what? No, just to be Lou Pearson for now, I have to have a palm on the house, it's fine. Today I'm gonna be doing a lobotomy on you to treat your mental illness. Oh, no, just to be Lou Pearson for now, I have to have a palm on the house, it's fine. Today I'm gonna just... I'm gonna... Very that. Front, no, but Claire's actually, yeah, Claire's does do front of a load of lobotomies now, apparently, don't they? Can we just, wait, can, wait, what did this man say at the beginning? The hang on, wait, he says, doing a lobotomy on you to get rid of your mental illness. Absolutely disgusting. Maybe all these years on the internet has like drained my fun bone, but like, should we be saying things like that? I know it's meant to be a joke on ASMR thing or whatever, but like, should we be saying things like that? Okay, so what is this? Piercing my nose music. No, don't pierce your nose, girl. Stop. So clean, clean, clean with the trolley. Ding, ding, ding with the bell. Zing, zing, zing with my heartstrings. From the moment I'm going to hell. <coughs> So they're doing, apparently doing a nose piercing and 
sure. Why not? I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? It hurts so much. Okay, do later. So it hurt too much. Now she's going to get her friend to do it instead. Oh, they love each other. Lesbians. So that now... So now she's doing it instead. And... Oh, policewoman. That's the... No. Sure. Fine. Do what you... Fine. <sighs> I cannot wait to die. I feel like I lost the will to live during that one. Jesus. Okay, so what is this? So need... Wait, what? What's happening? What's up? Oh, wow. He is so 2000s. I'm... Oh! Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting sudden... This... I wasn't expecting, like, the sudden, like... <laughs> I would say lol tooth enamel, but I mean... <laughs> wow. I mean, okay. So, I know I'm supposed to be here talking about the piercing, whatever. But, like, as someone who's, like, obsessed with the 2000s, like, I really appreciate how this guy looks. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Love his hair. I love all the piercings and stuff. Like, he looks aggressively 2000, like, skater boy. Like, I, I, I love it. But God, yeah, that, maybe don't, maybe, maybe it's not a good idea, but, um, I was gonna say tooth, like, watch out for the teeth enamel, but I mean, it's got, a uh, a, a flipper, like a, a fake great flipper. <laughs> sure. I love his look, though. I, I, again, I'm, I have such a obsession with, like, the 2000s that I think he looks so cool. <laughs> You need to move on. So, what is this? So, how I hide my stretched ears. Oh, God. What are you going to do? You're going to put an industrial piercing, too? So, you, you take them out. Oh, God. Look at those ears. Wait, what? Look at the... I'm really confused by the ears. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. So, he's doing the traditional way of, like, hiding earlobe piercings. But, like... <gasps> like... He's missing so much of- Oh no. Oh, okay. That gives me a bit of a nick. I'm not going to lie. Like, that kind of creeps me out a little bit. Like, I feel like that is less creepy because it's, like kind of like what like a straight line of like oh okay it's kind of just gone it still looks a bit strange but it doesn't creep me out as much as this because this kind of looks like you've been attacked this is looks like oh you've just taken it off but this looks like an accident <laughs> oh no i've seen many people hide their earlobe like this is the normal like the normal way to hide in, like a large earlobe stretch that you just kind of see people do but like this part of the ear really kind of creeps me out what happened was it a choice i was attacked by a swan why aren't you making it to the bed? It looks like you've been it's like ripped out. I was like, oh. Okay, so this. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Um. Well, I really hope you washed them a lot before putting them into your mouth. <laughs> I hope you scrubbed. <laughs> oh, I really hope you scrubbed them clean before you put them inside your tongue hole. Ugh. But I'm going around camp looking for scrubbers. I mean, sure. Like, live your life, girl. But I hope you clean that. <laughs> okay, so what is. Wait, what? Oh. This is, I'm sorry, these are developers showing their kinks. Like, this is, this is, there's too much of, oh, help me, I fell into a puddle of piss. Ah! I'm in the pit! Shower the lady. God, why is she a Sasquatch? I, the, I'm sorry. We know how this is going to end. She's going to become bold and she's going to get put on some disgusting clothing. Like, oh, you did it wrong, girl. This woman is dirty. Clean the woman. That's right, you can wear, wear the, wear the tent, sure. Hello. Snakes on my pussy. I have had it with these mother snakes on this mother pussy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this. <gasps> so many of these adverts from these like developers are about like, someone farting or someone really smelling and someone else being like, mmm, perfume to my senses. Oh, essence of guff. You disgust even me. I'm sorry. The game developers are just slipping in their own little kinks into these things. It happens too much to just be a coinky dink. No, this is literally, literally real life coming into their little development. I mean, like, oh, maybe I would do like a bit of cake farts, girl. So what is this? So client satisfied. Satis satis what? Oh! <laughs> she was like, if you're gonna fuck up my nose, I'm taking the gun with me, girl. <laughs> you're coming with me. <laughs> okay, so what is this? So forget septum face, I give you snake bite face. Oh, I don't have snake bites, so I can't attest to this, right? But people who have snake bites, do you do this with your snake bites and your lips and you suck it in? You're, oh, look at my snake bite face. I'm assuming when they're saying septum face, they mean... Okay, so what is this? So this person is... Wait, so... 
We're seeing a piss it. Wait, what's going on? So they've cut the feet, the, like the, the, the tube. And they're putting scissors down. Wait, I'm really confused what's going on. What's happening? So they're making the edge of the... And now they're bending a new one. I mean, what's happening? Wait, what's happening? I mean, look at what's happening. So, that, so they're giving them a death piercing. A death, a death. Dingly, dongly. I've got gouts. So they're giving, and then they're putting... What kind of... Wait, what, what the hell is that? What the... What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a star. Oh, wow. I mean, I feel like you should, should you really be putting this in to begin with? Like, oh, wow. that must be really difficult to like pull through the hole. It must really hurt to pull that through the hole. Gosh, I, with jewelry like this, so it's like this, it goes in, goes in like, the, the curve in this bit here is a little bit more sharper than it is on like a normal curved barbell or whatever. I'm just, cause like, look how, look how like, cur like curved it is. I'm like, should you really be putting this into a new piece? I don't know. Is this okay? It feels like it shouldn't be in like a new piercing. You should let it heal and then put a jewelry like this in there. I know with date piercings, like an eyebrow piercing as well, like sometimes, like you do do them with like curved barbers or whatever. Like you don't, they don't tend to get done with straight ones. Like obviously this you would never because the surface, I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to think of piercings that they get done with curved barbells. Like date piercings tend to get done with curved barbells. To do this with, I'm not sure if this is, should you do this fine? It feels like this would be difficult to heal. I still don't understand what he was doing at the beginning there, but like bending the front, like, I don't understand like why he was like deforming like the end of it here to put that on because surely you can put that on regardless of whether it's like bent like this. I don't know why that would make it easier. I'm confused. Confused.com. Okay, so this is Ash, uh, so, so wait, they're doing an Ashley piercing on themselves? So that, oh yeah, got to fit those gloves. I mean, at least we got them gloves, I guess. God, here we go. So they're putting on the clamp and now they're piercing like oh god oh just directly into the gum i'm gonna wear gloves and then just take them off when i need them the most right sure god that's so oh, that's so tight that's so tight oh no you're gonna die now so this girl has got like like gorgeous full lips right so the bar that she's used like you can see it already touching the in it's kind of difficult to see she so can't see the inside so much it's easy just, i can see it easy just because i can see it properly but like it's like the inside here is so tight against this and you can already see at the end there's like it's kind of difficult to notice there's like a divot it's like push you can already see like, it's like a divot here where it's like pushing in you need to change that for a longer one at least use the right size bar because your your lips gonna eat that bar if you don't change it like if your lip decides to really swell that's sinking in and you're gonna have to go to the doctor and get it like surgically removed like no can i just say the music that has recently been on tiktok like the music that's going viral and music going big has been so insufferable like doing some of these videos have been like I'm, I'm having like these horrific thoughts in my brain of just like oh i might shut down at any moment because i cannot bear listening to these uh. songs anymore <laughs> okay so what is piercing my double lobe wait Wait, no, stop, stop, stop. What the f*** uh, is this? Scout, gout. And this is holding on for dear life as well. Like, sis, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know when people are young, they do silly things. But like, there's doing silly things and then there's just like being like, just an idiot. Like this, what are you doing? Like, what's the, I'm assuming they've been done yourself because no reptile peers would put a straight bar like that through your face. Oh, unacceptable. Uh -huh. So they're just like piercing their ear. It's so crooked. Oh, I wonder why. It's almost like you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so what? Oh, I stop making these awkward. <laughs> Point of view, it's your first foot piercing, sure. It's the horrible, like. They dub over it, I hate it. Sure. Oh, get those gloves on. Uh, do you know what I, uh, a real, do you know what I love about these, like th this person's videos? I've seen a few of them before. It's like, there's this person here, right? Who is making a joke video about piercing like a toe. And even just doing that, they've got a clamp, they've got gloves, they've got like a proper needle. And then there's other people who literally are piercing their actual like nose or their ears or whatever. And they won't use gloves, they use sewing pins. Yet this person's piercing like a fake leg and like, and doing all, <laughs> using all the right equipment. I just love the fact that there's someone here doing it on like a fake thing and doing it all right. And then there's these people who are like, I'm just gonna pierce my cheek. 
<laughs> okay, so what is? I want to add more holes to my body. I want to add more holes to my body. I'm going to close up now. I okay, love so their the freckles. The plan is that I want to get two more earlobe piercings. So getting two earlobe ear piercings, three, three helix on that side, left, two curlers. And you, on you're getting them. You're gonna get. You're getting all done at once. All at once. Go. No reputable piercer will do that many in one go. If you go to places like that, you're not going to professional. You're going to someone who just wants money. God. You're doing all that. Have fun sleeping. F*** uh. me. God. And the, 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 ones on the, the ones on the other side that had the three, they're really close together. So if your ear, your ear is going to, like, your ear could really spell badly. Also, the positioning of these ones are different than this one. That's slightly more horizontal on this side. It feels... Like, I, I, they don't match. For, I don't know. They, uh, yeah, ick. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. No professional piercer will do that many in one go. That's never a good sign. Okay, so what is this? So I don't think I'm infected. It's just an irritation. <gasps> oh, no. It... God, okay, so... They've got an... Inf it won't come out, girl! I hope you scrubbed your fingers before you were touching it then. Okay, I got it. Oh, gosh. Trigger warning! Jesus. Nancy! Oh, and it's oozing. Oh, can I show that? I think I can show that. That's not too graphic. I think that's fine. Wow. Pussy wussy. Okay, so what's piercing my second helix? Okay, sure. Sanitize it. Yes, because that's how it works. Right, so. Oh, she actually want to check for veins and capillaries and what's it? Go for it. Uh, see, this what I mean. I find this kind of stuff so funny that this this girl is like going to a stage where she's like, I'm going to buy the needles and buy alcohol and I'm going to make sure that I get a torch and make sure I don't pierce through anything that's like any sort of veins or anything, whatever. Make sure my ear looks nice inside and then don't use gloves. So what is this? So butterfly. Oh, oh, butterfly piercing. Wow. I mean, wow. Piercing playgirls. I mean. You know, we've seen many different piercing play um, things on my channel so far. Beads in the middle, say. I mean, we've seen... I wonder how clean that is. Um, like, we've seen many different piercing play things over the time. But, I mean, at least this is a bit more creative. It's like, oh, butterfly. Oh, a butterfly. I want a butterfly. Butterfly. What's wrong with him? It's not for me. I just think it's a bit wasteful, but live your life, go! I'm like a butterfly. As you can see, I'm constantly on one these days. Okay, so what is this? Check out this keloid treatment. What? Keloid treatment? It looks like it, it was gonna fall off. What? What's happening? She has had this piece for four years and it was doing fine until, until what? She kept getting caught and, and didn't downsize. So she got a key. Yeah, but if she's got keloid, like you're gonna have to get it surgically removed. I'm going to use a treatment using natural ingredients. Massages oil helps to shrink the keloid. No, like, it also put longer bonds and didn't cause any more pressure. Like, you, that keloid's not going to go just from rubbing oil in it. Like, unless there's some, like, new technology that I don't know about or new science. But, like, to get a keloid to go away, you need to have it surgically removed. Rubbing oil isn't going to make a keloid go away. I obviously can't make assumptions. I don't know what's been done in this process. So I don't want to just like make assumptions. So everything I say now is speculation. I don't know. But like, I hope you didn't tell that client that this is like a way to get rid of keloids because they're going to get really false hope and then get upset. I hope this was like a consensual thing where it's like, oh, let's just try this thing, lol. Like, I hope it wasn't like you weren't guaranteeing that this will help it go away. That feels weird. Like, because keloids don't just go away with oil. And again, please correct me if I'm wrong. Actual scientists in, in the comment section, is there some new technology or new science that's come out that's been like keloids can go away if you rub oil on it or this natural oil? Okay, so what is- Hey guys, I today we will be piercing hey guys. Audrey's ears. We're piercing Audrey's <laughs> ears, sure. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's- Wait, did you put rubbing alcohol on it? Yes, yes, it is. No, this one. That's not going to save you, sis, when you're piercing it with, what, cucumber behind you and a safety and a thumbtack. Three, two, one. God. How do you feel? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> In just a school bathroom. Oh, Australians are crazy girls. What's with all this piercing in the bathroom in school toilets? I don't understand. Piercing a button down shirt. Oh, we've seen teddy bear piercings. We've seen doll piercings. We've seen many different blobfish piercings. And now we're seeing a shirt piercing. Sure. Pierce up that collar girl. This feels very, this feels like very 90s raver. Like they've, there's a lot of like kosh bars, a lot of like acrylic sort of like neon. I feel like this is going to look kind of cool. This is going to feel like, I feel like it almost looks like a wacky professor, like a wacky piercing professor instead. Like, I bet when they put it on, it's going to look like a crazy, oh, hello. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I kind of love it. I kind of love this. Yeah, I kind of love it. I kind of love that. Give it to me! So what is this? So how does that work? Wait, what was it? Hang on. So I missed what it was. I was reading what it said. What is that? Ooh, a ball and chain, girls. Oh, mace me up, sugar lips. Okay, wow. So... Oh, so it's like detached in the middle. That's cool. And then it's a really cool industrial piercing. Yeah, yeah, I love these things. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Love them. Okay, so mantis piercings. Ooh, that's like straight right in the nose. Straight forward in the nose, girl. I've still never seen these in person. I would still love to see someone who's actually got this like in person. I'd still love to, to see them properly. But yeah, mantis piercings, it's cool. They're really cool. I mean, I can imagine it quite difficult to get them like perfectly lined up, but it's cool. I love it. It's always nice to have some of the good mixed in with the bands and it gales. So what is this? So, oh, another piercing rule. I, I think this is the girl who faked the bridge piercing, isn't it? Oh, it's crooked girls. Yeah, and then yeah, I was she 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 did. I, I swear she was on the channel a while ago because she did like a uh, like a bridge piercing. It wasn't real. What I find funny though is the fact that like piercing roulette again. It's a different version of piercing roulette. As someone who is who lived through the nineties, the noughties, and like before, like in social media and internet, you would always get like a circulation. So like every sort of like twenty-ish years, like trends and fashion things would kind of like circle round again. I feel like now with the way that the world is, it's like. It's what been six years now almost since all this piercing roulette stuff happened. And it's like, how is it still happening? It's like the circulation of things are happening so much faster. Things come and go so quick that it's not going to wait like a decade, maybe two for like trends to kind of come back round again. Like I feel like it's just going to happen all the time because how are they? How is piercing roulette like still a thing? So what is this? So this person is getting a... Oh, I, I really miss my nape piercing. Uh, so they're getting a nape piercing. So they're putting it through... Ooh. Okay, oh, it's a gorgeous colour. It's a beautiful, like, turquoise colour. Delicious girl! I like that. This video may contain disturbing content. This is highly disturbing content. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, they're just dabbing away some of the blood. Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. We love to see, see this one. Like, it's nice to see some good things. I mean, it does look a tiny bit tight, but I mean, I'm sure they know what they're doing. But like, gosh, looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, that. Okay, so what is, I'm never getting a piercing. Again. <gasps> oh, no. So it's no music, music, music. This is triggering. Oh, wow. <gasps> no. That is a lot. Wow. Unfortunately, there is no way... There is no way that I'm going to be able to show you that. It is like, I can kind of show you keloid sometimes, but this is way too graphic and gory and gross. Essentially, this person's had like an ear piercing, it's got infected or whatever, and a keloid has grown onto it. And it was lit, the keloid was like almost the size of the entire ear, and it was oozing and oh, awful, 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 wow. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. I'm going on the railway, crashing off the cliff, and we are plunging to our deaths. Bye! And we're gonna squat for Jesus because I'm back just like Jesus Christ. So squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, Jesus was a bottom. Oh, Jesus loved to get raw dogged at Hampstead Heath. Oh, squat for Jesus. Um, I uh, can't really squat very well then. I'm still recovering from my left leg tattoo, so I can't really squat very well. But you know what? Um, now that I've got ghost face on my booty, it's more like squat for ghost face. Oh, ghost face loved a good peach. Oh, ghost face was a bottom. Um, anyway, thank you for watching today's video. You guys are delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching today. This has been a lot. I still can't believe that woman who pierced her kid's ear. Ba no, I say kid. Ba in ba infant baby's ear at home herself. So disgusting. As I always said, if, you, if that got done on an adult, it would be classed as assault. So why is it not on children? Um, wow. Jesus Christ. This one has been... Again, there's a lot of things in this one that I'm like, wow. The keloid thing. Please let me know. I said the keloid thing. Let me know about that. Um, oh, yeah. And also, if you want to go check out the most recent episode of Gag of the Millennial podcast, make sure you go, go and do that. It's on my last video that I did upload. So head over, there is a link, as I said, there's a link in the description and in the comment box uh, in, as a pinned comment. Or you can just go on my channel. We talked about all the most recent events that are going on in the world. But anyway, <sighs> thank you for watching today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Sage Moon Destiny. Thank you for coming, following me over on Twitch. And if you would like to be in with the chance the next following, I can't speak. If you would like to be in the chance of being the next Twitch follow shout out, come follow me on Twitch as well. 
it's Roly West. Uh, thank you to my lovely Patreons. Uh, it is actually Patreon changeover day. I'm filming this on the first of the month, so the it's like Patreon changeover day. So it's all my all my analytics, everything is a bit messed up, waiting for people to do things. The shout outs and everything will resume on the next video. But if you'd like to come on Patreon, there's a link down below as well. So anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bishop that say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.